Those were the last words of Donald Campbell. It was soon after dawn that Bluebird was got ready for the record attempt. There was little wind, the water was smooth. The evening before, Donald Campbell drew the ace and queen of spades, the deadly shadow of remorseless fate. He was a superstitious man. Dedicated, his mission in life coming before everything. The Orpheus jet was easily capable of driving Bluebird at 300 miles an hour. British, the record had to remain. He had driven his sports car for the last time. Though on that perfect first run, there was no hint of tragedy. him at 297 miles an hour. With luck, the new record would be his. But luck had run out. Fate was the strike. had sacrificed his life for speed, as centuries ago, men dared the oceans and found new worlds, scaled mountains into lands beyond, and sailed out of Plymouth to circumnavigate the globe. None could imagine at that moment the depth of grief of Leo Villa, who served the Campbells, father and son, nearly 45 years. All he saw here was the debris left upon the lake. Five thousand years ago, they said, let us now praise famous men. And in Lake Coniston now laid the body of a famous man who was among the bravest of the brave. This epic age, which soon will know man's conquest to the moon, must count its losses too. Great Britain mourns the loss of a great man, Donald Campbell. <laughs> <laughs>